Hey, before we start, you should drop a sub. Go ahead, don't be shy. 69% of you are not subscribed that watch my videos, which is a very funny statistic. Also, I stream on Twitch a lot, so go check that out as well. We know that Behavior loves to do little meta shakeups. They swear it makes their game feel different, but realistically, they're just taking the fun perks and kind of running them through the floor. But don't worry, I'm not here to complain about bad nerfs they've done. I'm here to talk about one nerf they did that completely changed how the game flows. It changed how the game flows to the point where gens are going about 200% faster than they used to. So what's the one perk, let's think together, <laughs> what's the one perk that got changed that has the power to pretty much rewrite the entire game? If you guessed it, good job, Circle of Healing. I always say that it really takes a smooth brain to say that Circle of Healing was never broken because they initially nerfed self-care, pretty much gutted it to make sure survivors couldn't self-heal, and then released a perk in which everyone could have a buffed self-care, the strongest version of self-care, but only one person has to run the perk. And that was the joys of Circle of Healing. For people that don't know, uh, they nerfed it to the point where you can't self-heal anymore, it just reveals your aura and people can come heal you at light speed. Is it a bad perk now? No, not at all. I think the problem is people look back to the old circle of healing and go, well, this one was way stronger, so now the perk is useless. But that's not the case. The perk actually still gets a lot of use, it stacks well with other boons, but here's the problem. When circle of healing got nerfed, boons as a whole took a hit. Now why is that? Because Circle of Healing was always the primary boon people were bringing, followed by a secondary if they were bringing more than one boon. You don't really see a lot of people running just Expo, or just Dark Theory, or just Shadow Step. You see people running Circle of Healing Shadow Step, Circle of Healing Exponential, which is what I used to run. You never saw people bring other boons unless Circle of Healing was there as well. So now with Circle of Healing being so nerfed, you don't see a lot of boons. So how does this affect the game? Let's talk about objectives. What is the one objective on Survivor? The one true objective, the one thing that will get you out of the game, doing gens. And this is where the term forcing the objective comes into play. Now, please don't take this the wrong way. I'm simply stating a definition, but the objective of killer is to get the survivors out of the game. The objective of the survivors is to do gens to get out of the game. So killers might force the objective or in an effort to force the objective, they'll face camp, they'll tunnel, they'll try to get these survivors out faster. That's forcing the objective. And on survivor side, they will gen rush, they'll run bond prove, or they'll run some kind of gen build or a brand new part to force the objective, to get gens done faster. They are an equivalent because it's both roles forcing the objective, but a lot of people don't like to hear that because a lot of people don't want to hear gen rushing compared to tunneling. But realistically, they're both forcing the objective. I'm going to stop from the facts for one second for a personal opinion, so just know this now, I'm, this is not a fact. But I do believe that tunneling and gen rushing are both BM, but that's because I'm an emotional little killer. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I do really hate when I get gen rushed out, and when I see people running bond and prove, I do kind of question like what the fuck is wrong with you, like what's fun about that. But anyways, back to the actual facts, I'm sorry, I just had to let that out. Opinions aside, they are both forcing the objective. Tunneling to try to get a survivor dead faster, or doing gens to try to get all the gens popped faster. Both of them are forcing the objective. So how can we stop forcing the objective? Well, we have perks like off the record, we have base kit borrowed time, we have a shitty perk called decisive strike. Let's be honest, it's not very good. Bring back the old stun, please. And you know what? Let's do one more tangent. Since I kind of just leaned to the killer side a little bit, let me lean to survivor side for a second. DS, bringing back old DS would help with tunneling so much, and I don't see any negative to them bringing back the five second stun. Three second stun is essentially just a dead heart. Like you're, you're getting a tiny bit of distance on the killer. Please bring back five second stun. Oh my God. And don't get me wrong. Off the record is a great anti-tunnel perk. It really is. But DS is also a great anti-tunnel perk. Why can't we have both? But anyways, sorry. There, I had two tangents, one for killers and one for survivors. So now my comments won't tear me apart. Back to the idea of forcing the objective. So what it, oh, oh, it's a cat. Um, what is the best plan of action to stop people from forcing the objective? giving them a secondary objective. 
And don't give them a secondary objective that's required because there's nothing fun about that. Imagine on Survivor, you had to do gens and also like unlock locks on the way. Like you had to unlock seven locks and do five gens. That wouldn't be fun. But you know what would be fun? Going and lighting a boon that buffs your entire team. That is where the one healthy aspect of boons came in. Or let me rephrase, the one healthy aspect of Circle of Healing. Because boons as a whole are a great mechanic. It was just old Circle of Healing was very unhealthy. But anyways... The one good aspect that comes with them is secondary objective. Survivors don't hop on gens instantly, or they didn't when boons were meta, because they would go find a totem and light it for circle of healing in expo or something like that. And they were rewarded by doing so. They now had a positive status effect in that zone. Do y'all remember when it averaged like three boons a game? I guess this only killer players will really notice how many boons are lit at once. But oh my goodness, do y'all remember when pretty much three-fourths of any lobby would bring boons? I gotta say, on Survivor, that was probably the easiest Survivor's ever been. Um, and on Killer, it was probably the most miserable it's ever been. Because <laughs> you're essentially snuffing boons, kicking gens to try to slow down objectives. But realistically, Survivors are just walking all over you. So this is where I kind of turn it to you a bit. Let me explain. The reason boons were meta was because there was one boon that was so strong that you were pretty much stupid to not bring it. And then, by doing so, people would bring secondary boons besides Circle of Healing. The problem now is Exponential is fun, but is it really worth lighting a boon, not being on a gen, almost taking a break from the game to go activate, if you're not getting that passive self-heal from Circle of Healing as well? The answer is no. That's why you don't see it. You will not see people running just Dark Theory. Uh, well, unless they're running like an endgame haste build, but other than that, you're not going to see people running just Dark Theory, you're not going to see people running just Shadow Step, and you're definitely not going to see people running just Exponential. Even now, if you see people running boons, you're still going to see people running Circle of Healing and then other boons. Circle of Healing is almost always the first choice, and then secondary boons follow. So, back to the main point. What can we do about that? Would it be healthy to make another boon that feels so rewarding for Survivor, it's worth lighting, while also not completely punishing Killer just by existing? The problem with Circle of Healing was the Killer was at an immediate disadvantage just by existing, and M1 Killers took the biggest hits of anyone. Meaning, Killers without movement or without really oppressive kits, such as M2 Killers, couldn't do anything about Circle of Healing except go and snuff it over and over and over. And nothing's fun about that. So let me ask you and comment below, is there a boon that you would like to see introduced that is rewarding enough to survivors to be brought and lit at the start of the game to kind of have a secondary objective while also not over punishing the killer like old Circle of Healing did? Anyways, let me know down below. I'd love to know. Don't talk to me, just talk to my little dude Don't talk to me, just talk to my little dude